yeah. first first of all uh, thank you for accepting uh, this uh, online interview for the Bozja the International Festival of Ecological Documentary and this festival has been taking place since 2009 and I was a guest last year with the film that I co-edited with my spouse mm -hmm. and uh, I hope to, I mean, although I don't talk on the behalf of the festival, but I hope we can host you next year or uh, soon or whenever it is possible. Thank and you. I, I hope that we will manage to travel soon, <laughs> that all of this will be over. <laughs> Definitely. I would first like to give some more C, uh, introduction CV in case the festival team will keep it in dead. Uh, uh, Laila Pakalnina is a filmmaker from Latvia and she studied uh, journalism and film directing in Moscow and the prestigious Moscow Film School. And so, in fact, you do uh, both fiction and documentary films. Uh, and so that's why just the first question generally for your films and uh, especially for The Spoon, what was your uh, starting point and how do you choose your approach for a certain image or topic when you decide documentary or fiction? Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, it's, uh, it's not so easy to answer because um, all this is not a rational uh, mm, decisions they uh, it's um, so uh, films to me and I think to many filmmakers just come as uh, idea in fact as image and um, when this image comes so at first you know is it documentary or is it fiction then at second you already know is it color or is it black and white? And um, yeah, I, I like, I, I think I, uh, uh, Spoon and all my films also coming from that I like to make uh, films about uh, simple things like uh, Brothers Lumiere when they uh, made arrival of the train and workers coming out of factories. Those were very simple things. And the um, idea about Spoon also appeared like a simple idea, but with uh, not so simple uh, production, of course. But the idea itself is very simple, just uh, so Spoon, from where it, co where it comes. Uh, and um, yeah, of, of course it's, uh, 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 we are not scientists, we are not uh, spoon production and oil production <laughs> specialists and it's uh, not possible to explain uh, in words. Also, uh, there are many processes in uh, production, let's say so, production of spoon. Uh, where there are many chemical processes which which are uh, happening in uh, in in pipes, so it's uh, even not possible to show this process. And uh, yeah, it, 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 this idea was to follow uh, follow uh, uh, production of of, of spoon, and um, and uh, and also this how to make it, it also came already with this idea because I, I, uh, I understood that I will make it in uh, uh, static shots, black and white uh, compositions and we are not going to move camera. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. And also, yeah, like, since you mentioned then, let uh, me ask this the obvious question about the choice of black and white, again, especially on this film and generally in your artistic approach. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, for this film, me and my uh, 
cinematographer Gins Berzinch, we found a very nice uh, answer. We are saying uh, oil is black and spoon is white. That's why we have black and white film. But in general, of course, um, we understood that we are going to film it in very different places. And um, uh, everything what we see around, uh, it's quite uh, chaotic uh, if we see it in color. And uh, it, as soon as you go to black and white, it's uh, easier to organize uh, frame, uh, easier to make composition. And I think that's why it's also easier uh, to approach uh, audience with what I want them to see in uh, our, let's say, frame shot. Yes, this is uh, also like one of uh, reasons. And about the uh, process in the editing, like the decisions where to start the shot, where to, where to end the shot, and related with it, you know, the first time we see the plastic spoon is in the 55th minute. Let's say even maybe five or six minutes is left uh, uh, before the end of the film. Uh, yeah, this is for purpose. <laughs> Uh, now, in fact, you see spoon in intro of film when a child is eating uh, uh, behind this uh, plastic carton. But, um, but, but, but in, in general, yes, in film, in, in very like last uh, part. But it's, it's for purpose uh, just to, uh, even for those who, uh, who, uh, think that this film is annoying, that this film is uh, not interesting, because we are different and we, 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 uh, we watch films differently, we like different films, this is okay. But even for those who, uh, who, who think that it is really annoying film, uh, I think there will be one effect from this film that uh, as soon as they will see this uh, plastic spoon, they will remember my annoying film and they will remember how um, long, uh, I would say, yeah, long and uh, complicated is this uh, process of, uh, of making a spoon. And because I, you can make short, of course, from or if you have uh, uh, material, you can make short as well. But but uh, but for for this uh, uh, subject, uh, uh, short, I I think would not work. I needed uh, this length. Uh, it was uh, for purpose, and no dialogue, of course, no explanations. And uh, about the, uh, about the, the music and the sound design together, because it's also hard to tell when it's the music or when it's like a melody composed of industrial sounds. It's also kind of in certain part there is also this moody film which reminds of Stalker, which is also one of your uh, like enlightenment moments, as I heard in other interviews. So can you mm -hmm. talk about your approach to uh, film music in this one uh, together with the narration. Yeah, it was, uh, it was for purpose, of course, uh, to um, have music uh, which you sometimes can't, uh, when you some, sometimes can't understand where is music, where is uh, sound, uh, the film sound uh, uh, or noises uh, because uh, uh, when we went through uh, all those factories, uh, there were such a strange and different kind of noises. And, and then I understood that, uh, of course, I need something uh, like this, but uh, like organized uh, rhythm. Uh, and uh, uh, a composer is uh, 
Norwegian uh, uh, Norwegian uh, composer, but she is uh, uh, like uh, half Algerian, uh, half Al Algerian. So her father is Algerian, and when I listen uh, to uh, to um, um, samples. I understood that this is what I need because this, I think it comes from <laughs> her father. There is this uh, specific uh, sense of uh, rhythm. I, I wanted to have like uh, 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 this kind of uh, rhythmical uh, music. And also together with this, all these elements and what you want to convey with the film language, it feels like a, a chronicle of a small fracture of our time, but in a very dystopic way. Would you agree? Yeah, yeah, I agree. <laughs> and uh, also, like, uh, I was thinking that, you know, when you show us uh, also various places where we use plastic spoons, you also chose a biking race. Because, you know, biking is always uh, associated with, you know, natural life, don't drive a car, drive a bike. So I guess this was again on purpose. <laughs> uh, but it was kind of not, um, not against biking. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, uh, of course, it's not <laughs> against uh, biking. Uh, even so when I'm sitting here in front of my computer, some, somewhere behind, I see my <laughs> bicycle. And so I'm not <laughs> against biking. So the question is, um, uh, yeah, the question is plastic. Uh, and, and of course, it's, it's, I'm, I'm, not, uh, I'm not criticizing in a way those who use plastic spoons uh, because it's, um, it's, then it is uh, also like um, a self-criticism um, as well, because it's, um, because uh, now, at least here in my country, it's becoming better and better. Yeah, but in, in those big sports events, like uh, marathon, like uh, uh, bicycle races, um, in general, there are no <laughs> other ways. Uh, uh, because you, you, you can't have like, uh, uh, I don't know, a ceramic uh, uh, bowls. Uh, and, uh, but but uh, uh, yeah, it's a, and when you are participating in, in those competitions, it is not your choice. But uh, uh, your choice is to think about it and... Uh, yeah, but, but slowly now it's becoming better. When I started uh, this film, it was, uh, there were still no uh, those prohibitions in uh, Europe. Right now it's, uh, there are certain uh, things what you can't buy anymore in shops. And also, of course, it's, um, uh, there are uh, things which are like, uh, uh, disposal uh, things, but uh, uh, and they look like uh, uh, not nature friendly, but in fact, uh, um, they are, uh, now this production process is different. They, they made for from uh, other materials. And also your words also show that in fact, we would all need a, like a total struggle which is not uh, fractured because it's sometimes it's not our choice and it's the system and so let's say in, in in the specific shootings of your film in this one how was the ecological approach in your set the, i'm also asking uh, in a sense you know i was thinking you know in film sets and in film festivals we also uh, consume a lot of plastics and i was just of course you know any audience when they watch a film they also create their own film i was thinking okay a filmmaker if if i see a film set with plastics i would be also thrilled in this film so how was your approach in your set uh, so um uh, 
when we were traveling around, we, we, I think we, we, we were uh, quite uh, nature friendly uh, with this film because it, it is easier. We, we just, I don't know, uh, three or four of us and, and we, uh, usually we don't eat on set. We, we go somewhere to canteen and it's uh, fine. But um, I was shooting in 2019 uh, a fiction film last summer and uh, and uh, yes there is a already uh, different thinking uh, because my production team they were um, uh, uh, they had a deal with um, a catering that we are not uh, having uh, those uh, plastic uh, spoons and uh, forks and uh, but we had like a really real uh really uh like uh yeah. things yeah what what you need to wash afterwards and it's it's not so difficult it, it was difficult in the first uh, moments when people used to throw something out and this can break but uh but now it's uh i think in latvia uh i think it's kind of even like um movement or thinking uh, 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 that uh, in, on film set you, you use just a regular uh, uh, set, no, not a plastic. And, and also your film uh, spans various geographies and it, it, you also clearly shows, I mean, we are, a, okay, this is now a cliche term, we are a global village, so we cannot deal with bigger issues by uh, seeing we have only this problem or seeing with the national borders. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, I, I, I agree that we need a more uh, internationalist movement that also puts ecology and all this uh, struggle together because you cannot uh, have like ecology like without feminism or without uh, dreaming for a new world. Mm -hmm. and, and also, I, I, I want to ask, also with your music, I, I also felt like you also uh, want to give the audience a sensation that we are in the production line. I was like, when I'm watching the film, okay, as a mood, I'm on the production line with this, almost mm -hmm. like a, it sounds like post-punk noise. It, it was mm -hmm. like a industrial music. Um, and also, I really felt you want to play also with the like suspension of time, because this doesn't clearly tell the time or places. In some of them we understand from the, like in Azerbaijan, from the language, etc. It was obvious, but so this black and white, uh, you said helps to make the different geographies look like in one style, but also I think it creates a, a spaceless and timeless filmic universe. Yeah, I agree. And this, is, this, this was for purpose. It's uh, uh, maybe you, because uh, maybe you can read this uh, Azerbaijan language. You understand that it is Azerbaijan, but there are many people who don't. And uh, but, but, but because, yes, for me, it was not, uh, uh, I didn't want it to point where we are shooting. I was not hiding, of course, but but uh, but because I wanted to create this united image, like that um, it's all is the same. In fact, it is all one thing. Yeah, and time is going in a loop in a way. <laughs> yeah, it's not linear. Mm -hmm. And also, when we come uh, to let's say your. Uh, approach to it like images and sounds instead of words voiceovers and interviews so uh, what do you think uh, the spectator gains with your approach um, I think uh, uh, as soon as you use words especially voiceover and also interviews you are uh, more manipulating this uh, viewer. Uh, I, I think I use 
uh, I would not say clean film language, but I, I try to speak in language of film. And the, I, I try to do um, um, the only thing why, why films are invented, why this language is invented. <laughs> So. And also, you, I think, try to use the uh, emotional sense to, like, to insight the thinking because emotions and brain work perfectly together. Yes, I, 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 yeah, I, I agree with, I agree with you, yeah, because um, um, so, um, maybe. Maybe art is even more uh, effective uh, in this uh, in this current situation uh, 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 that uh, because it's um, because it's uh, it, it it it's it works with emotions and uh, uh, because words this blah 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 we hear every day and this is we are already starting uh, uh, to be used to words i want to ignore them maybe sometimes yeah yeah and especially mm -hmm. international films that can turn into just reading subtitles sometimes yeah <laughs> and also mm -hmm. uh, again like your aesthetic your aesthetical approach is very linked with emotions and also uh, with your imagery, like you make beautiful shots, but you show us the like ugliness or the harmfulness uh, of of our world as well. So you never go into the pornography of a beautiful image. So I think this was also what I'm was impressed with the compositions. So I probably takes. Uh, long time also to find this language because it's your cinematographer you work since the film school yeah but um yes uh, it's um uh, it's how to say it's e it's not the question of time when <laughs> how we find how we want to make films it was like um uh, um uh, 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 maybe I would even say it is question of uh, being uh, stubborn, uh, like uh, because this, this is how we already started started in film school, and I know uh, many uh, filmmakers they change their styles, they want to become more commercial, maybe, but um, we somehow uh, feel ourselves good when we only in this way. I would not say that it is like a cliche how we work on each film, but uh, it's, um, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's just this try to, to, to use uh, film language and that's it. <laughs> and uh, with your, uh, like, this film and I, you also made one one more short recently that was in Visions du Réel. And so in the pandemic times, how do you see the perception of your films in online streaming or through computers? Because I feel you uh, predominantly make the film for the big screen. Yeah, especially with short, uh, <laughs> we are suffering a lot because uh, it, we shot it on uh, black and white, 35 millimeters. And, uh, and um, yeah, it, uh, we, we were expecting our premiere in uh, Vision de Rail on screen, but it was uh, online. But, you know, um, uh, so what to do? It's not our choice. <laughs> it's like uh, life, uh, how it is right now. But at the same time, um, there are uh, festivals uh, uh, who are doing this uh, like uh, hybrid, hybrid uh, editions. And there are even festivals uh, 
uh, for example, Viennale, who decided in Austria, uh, they decided to go only uh, with physical screenings. Uh, and uh, the first bridge will be screened uh, in, uh, on, on, on screen in Austria. And also, so, but yeah, it's uh, concerning this uh, short film. So it was premiered in April and um, only now we are going, me, uh, a cinematographer and uh, sound director, we ourselves are going to see it on a normal screen uh, because it will be shown here in Latvia. <laughs> Good yeah, I, 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 I just, yeah, but I, in, I, I think in general, we, we, the only thing what we can do is uh, hope. We can, we just, we just can hope that uh, life will become uh, back, uh, uh, back in this way that uh, there will be more and more uh, screens where to show. And, fa uh, and especially for films like uh, like my films, there are more like uh, uh, I can meet my audience in festivals, and so I hope that uh, festivals will will again uh, be physical festivals. But uh, at the same, yeah, I, I just uh, finish it. At the same time, it's um. Uh, I would never go to so many festivals right now, in, for example, in October, November, uh, uh, where my films are screened now. And like uh, yesterday I had a Q and A, like live Q and A with uh, audience in uh, China, directly with audience in China. Uh, today I'm talking uh, to you in, this is something uh, good uh, in communication, yeah? That uh, because otherwise I, I, it's, it would be not possible. But uh, screen, yeah, I miss big screen. Definitely, we have to use these uh, tools uh, in a positive way for our struggle, like to reach our goal. And also, it's not only for the visual texture, but also to capture the rhythm, rhythm for the audience for this film. I would prefer, of course, to watch in a big screen. So like. I wouldn't be disturbed with the atmosphere sounds of the everyday life and I would be in our temple of the cinema hall and just become one with the film and with the images mm -hmm. and sounds. And uh, I would also ask, how is the uh, ecological mindset and uh, like struggle in Latvia in terms of people's movements and in terms of the governmental uh, measures? Mm, it's, uh, it's becoming uh, better, better and better, uh, mostly because of, uh, because we are in European Union and there are more, uh, more um, rules uh, uh, in uh, Europe, which we need to follow and and also somehow uh, once there is I, I what I can see in shops when there is a possibility to choose between paper bag and plastic bag, people already choosing uh, paper bag, and uh, the, the only the only thing what we don't have what I'm sad about that. Um, uh, we don't have this um, uh, uh, system of uh, how it's called um, uh, when you give back uh, all the plastic bottles. Like uh, recycling. Recycling. No, 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 no. It's uh, when you get uh, um, when okay, you get you, some... you 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 get money back if when you recycle. In air. Yeah. It happens in Germany, I know, not in Turkey yeah, yeah, or yeah, Serbia. Yeah. yeah, it's in in uh, in Germany, and it's uh, and it 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 works. I think uh, it works good 
uh, it's uh, uh, and we we have it uh, in uh, neighbor countries in uh, Lithuania and uh, in Estonia, and uh, as soon as they invented it uh, in Estonia, all uh, all the border uh, like border towns they became uh, clean because people are not throwing out it. Uh, ah, it's called deposit system. Ah, deposit. deposit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. It is. This uh, sounds it, like it, a film scene. Yeah, because it's um, uh, if you there are people who will never think about like uh, oh we need to do something, uh, uh, but uh, and then there is this uh, financial uh, mean uh, you can financial tool uh, to think uh, 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 to throw. It, somewhere out uh, in the grass or, or just uh, bring it back. Because in Germany, it's, uh, it's yeah, I, I would not say that it is like huge money, but uh, it's uh, for small Coca-Cola bottle, it's uh, 25 uh, cents. So four bottles, one euro. <laughs> yes. Um and also, how is the pandemic situation in Latvia nowadays? Oh, if you would ask this question uh, to me like uh, three weeks ago, I would say, oh, we are great. We are, uh, the, mm, we, 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 we have it, but so we are a clean country. But then it somehow uh, went again up and um, yeah, uh, but it, I think it's no no one can can say that it is uh, fine, <laughs> but at least we we don't have lockdown. We we need to use masks in shops now. But we, before, since uh, since pandemic started, uh, since March, uh, we were not. Uh, 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 we didn't uh, need to use masks, in, in, in fact, in, in shops, for example. Now it is already so bad that we need to. And, uh, are you slowly, you personally, start, start to, think, to travel to some certain festivals in Europe that screens your films, like in Vienna? Um, not to Vienna. But I'm uh, thinking about uh, Tallinn Black Nights Festival. I will have a uh, premiere of my fiction film and I'm thinking of uh, travel. Because I, I, it's not like I, I was not traveling all this uh, half year. I was, uh, I was even editing my uh, new film in Germany and yeah. It's, uh, we need to start to, to be used to, to, to this. Just when I travel, I understand that, uh, okay, uh, I will need to self-isolate myself for 10 days, but it's fine. It's, it's not like a quarantine. I can go out, I can run, I can bike. I, I can even go to shop with mask, but uh, of course not to go to meet other people. This is how, how we need now to count. We travel somewhere, then plus 10 days. We have 10 days. Before, we had uh, 14. Yeah. And uh, like, uh, lastly, again, another typical question. You will premiere your fiction film soon in Tallinn Black Nights. Uh, good luck and congratulations for that. And since you are a very creative filmmaker, like, around 30 films when we look at your biography are, are you already working on some new film uh yes a documentary uh called homes homes okay and uh hope to see that again and have you ever uh been to turkey as a tourist or as a filmmaker for a festival no no only in uh uh, uh, I was flying Turkish 
airlines are changing uh, 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 flights in uh, Istanbul. Okay, so I mean, this is my uh, proposal to, to Bozja, the uh, uh, International Festival of Ecological Documentary, uh, that uh, because when I study your filmography, re reading and at least watching the uh, trailers, I think uh, it would be also nice to host you, maybe as a jury and with a small retrospective. And you would see that in Bozja, the old Greek name is Tenedos. Today, it's really, uh, they, they live ecological and really like the people of the island produce and you eat there and the municipality who, uh, who also is the organizer of the festival together with the team and Etam and Petra, they, they really uh, have a, this slow city approach to things and it would be uh, really nice to welcome you in Turkey soon. Uh, I would love to. <laughs> yeah. And I think we can uh, wrap it up if it's also fine for you, if you don't want to. Yeah. Right now, maybe since they will edit, I look at my notes not to forget. Also in your previous, uh, one of the previous documentaries in Dreamland, although when I read and uh, read your notes and watch the trailer, your first uh, initial point was not to do directly ecological, but in fact to show the decay, what the human causes to nature. So, uh, so this ecology and uh, of course humankind is a recurring topic in your films. Yeah, but, uh, but it never was for purpose, but I think this is one of the te themes or um, how to say one of the topics we, we can't avoid if we are uh, filmmakers. It's like uh, almost every fiction film uh, in, in world is about uh, uh, lie, uh, about love, but, uh, uh, but I think both fictions and documentaries, almost all of them, they have uh, uh, some connection with nature. And as soon as they have connection with nature, it, it is, uh, they have connection with uh, ecology. Yeah. And the times we are living also, it shows that, in fact, we are, uh, the, the films show that we are not in a great state. So we can do, in terms of approach to our lives and in terms of approach to art, we can do that. Mm -hmm. I agree. <laughs> uh, thanks a lot for accepting our interview. And it was a pleasure for me as a, like a friend of the festival. It's an honor meet you and uh, good luck and hope to meet you soon somewhere in the world thank you and see you see you bye bye bye, bye.